Welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. A subscriber asked for a video on blueprinting, and here it is. Uh, luckily, I had just started building this camp, so it's really easy to demonstrate how blueprinting works. Now, a couple of things about blueprinting. Uh, the budget is really, really limited. A lot of times, if you have a large structure, say like this one, it won't always place, and it can be a little tricky to do. So hopefully, I can help you out. Now this structure that I have here, I'm just going to remove a few pieces just to make it a little easier to show you how the blueprinting process works. Now if you have a vending machine currently at your camp and you don't feel like relisting everything again, put your vending machine, it doesn't need power, yay, on a separate platform. But make sure that that platform is not attached in any way to your main camp. You'll figure that out later because it's going to automatically take care of that. Now, this is my structure. Now, this structure has absolutely no decorations, no electrical, maybe one line going in. Really, really bare bones. And you're going to see how limited the budget for your blueprint is. Now, let's see if we can get this to blueprint. So you're going to go ahead and press hold blueprint and you're going to get three different options select structure grow selection or select all of them pretty much do the same thing for the first attempt to see if i can get the whole structure i'm going to hit select structure so let's go ahead and do that and also in the upper right corner you're going to see your blueprint budget it's a tiny little sliver of blue when it's full, you're done, and you're going to have to unselect certain items. So I hit select structure. You can see kind of a blue line going around. So we're going to see just doing that alone, how much of the structure it actually got. And it's not going to get everything. In fact, I did it wrong. Uh, it only grabbed basically that one block, not even the stair. So there's our blueprint, one foundation piece. So let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, let's try this again. Go back into your build menu. Press and hold blueprint. There we go. Now what I'm going to do here is grow selection or select. They're basically the same thing. You're going to click on each individual piece until you see the color change from kind of the glowy blue to a little uh, less bright that could, there kind of gray it'll go from blue to gray we'll just leave it at that I'm gonna have trouble getting up the stairs without that foundation piece there so as you can see you're at about a quarter of your blueprint budget already and it's missing things so you can either go ahead and grow selection or select I prefer select this way I can click on each individual piece it turns from the blue to the gray gosh I'm at about half budget so go ahead and click on everything you want to keep as your blueprint. Now the whole blueprinting process isn't, like if you've got a camp that you've built around an existing structure and it's extremely complicated, there's pretty much zero that you'll be able to pick that entire camp up and put it down somewhere else. It's just not going to work. It's just inherent in the actual camp building process. So try to keep it to a structure that you like, say a log cabin or a two-story building that you like that you want to take somewhere else. It's not made for complicated structures. You can, however, make things in your camp or at a workshop, whoa, there's our budget, that you can take in a nuclear winter. More on that uh, a little later. But as you can see, our blueprint budget is full. So now it's always best to keep the foundations and remove the walls so all I do is click on it and it's going to turn in reverse from the gray back to the blue let's pick up these floors in the budget is their most important I think we're good okay we're going to go ahead and rename this one one there we go so now we can head downstairs clear this area And let's have a look. 
It actually looks pretty good. It looks like it got everything I selected within the blueprint budget. And as you can see, the blueprint, unless you delete that blueprint, it will always stay in your blueprint budget. Sorry, in your, well, under your tab, under blueprints, it'll stay there. So as you can see, if I had the space, I might be able to put it down. Now, the thing is, is that you're going to have to use, if you're going to use blueprints, it's going to take all of that junk you need to reconstruct it and take that out of your stash box to build it. What I'm going to show you here is another method. Oh, actually, there, I was showing you here. There, see, it missed those walls because we knew it just didn't take the entire budget. Sorry about that. So right here, I'm going to see if I can replace it down. So I redropped my camp. And as you can see, everything's gone. I'm going to go into my blueprints. And I'm going to see if I can drop it. I am the worst builder. Yes, I know I can do it with the moving in and out on the bumper buttons and things. But we'll see. See if I can get it to come closer to me so I can turn it. Now, just because it goes green or blue doesn't mean you can actually drop it. And truly a miracle right there that I could redrop that that building okay so it worked now let's go back under the blueprint tab and we're gonna to toggle over left under stored when we redrop the camp the camp automatically stored your build now it put it under five different uh, we're just gonna call it five different structures here's one I don't need it you can go ahead if you don't need this delete blueprint and store all component objects so it'll break it all down and put those individual components back into your build budget now this is what it thought was my build of course it's missing the big um, the windmill with the airplane on it it's missing from this completely so we could put that down and see if we can attach the windmill to it that's if we didn't blueprint it like this it just couldn't figure it out. That's just a little stove. And next up, that will uh, I'll show you is it actually stored the vending machine with all of the objects inside that were for sale. So you do not need to relist them again. Again, that's done automatically. Again, make sure it's not attached to your main foundation. Totally, totally separate. And then you'll never have to relist anything again. I try to keep all... Like, say you have four vending machines, try to keep them all really tightly knit on one uh, slab. And there we go. We can reattach that if we want it. Okay, we're going to make a very simple structure. Basically, a floor piece, a couple of walls. Let's put something inside the cook stove. Now, this is how, in my opinion, that the blueprinting really was supposed to work. Or how it's the simplest way for it to work on small structures. So again, hit A, hold blueprint, and select structure. Okay, let's take a quick walk around. And because it's small, it managed to grab everything. So like I said, select structure, grow selection, or select anything. So there's our little structure that we want to blueprint. This is just another way of doing it with something smaller if you need multiples of them. I'm just going to go ahead and call this shed. There we go, shed one. Okay, so we have something we really, really like, but we want to make multiple. Say you made a really nice vending machine area. So there's our main blueprint, and there's our little shed. So we can go ahead and drop, and it loves to do it with these smaller sections. So easy. There, now we have three identical ones. So let's say you had different booths for vending. You can do it like this too. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Blueprints are something that you, like I said, very, very tricky. They won't always place, and they are limited in size. So keep an eye on that blue build budget. They can be tricky to place, and sometimes when it works one time, doesn't mean it's going to work another. A good place to test these are either at your camp or at uh, a um, taking a workshop because everything's included when you go and build there. So if you wanted to build a fort to take into nuclear winter, just go ahead and build 
a platform with a set of stairs, a little bit of a fort around it, go ahead and blueprint it, and then you can take that and drop your camp in nuclear winter and drop your little fort down. So hopefully this has helped you out. Again, this is all about blueprinting and it can be frustrating. So like I said, don't expect your massive camp to be able to fit one in the blueprint budget or even be able to be replaced down. So thanks so very much for watching and I'll see you out in the wasteland. And here you can see I have to replace all of these walls and the ceiling, but 90% of it's there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.